school is officially out. I have two weeks off. Two weeks. Things are looking up. Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 20. I got to find out who my secret Santa was today and I got to reveal myself to the person that I drew for secret Santa. And I want to show you the final gifts that I got for mine and show you what I got for my person. So reach into this bag. I got two of these delicious old-fashioned peppermint barks. Peppermint bark is my favorite Christmas treat. Also got some Rocher candies, some hair detangler, an illuminating glow primer, and a makeup brush cleaner. But as nice as those are, my favorite gift from my secret Santa is this, the ultimate dog treat cookbook. I think there are some people around here that will be very happy that I got this for Christmas. We didn't have to stay long at all at work today. We went in for an early morning meeting, revealed the secret Santas, and then we were free to do whatever we needed in our room. I cleaned up a bit to prepare for the new kids that are coming in in January. I hung out with the art teachers for a while, caught up with them because we never have time to talk, and then I came home. The bag I carried today is this one that I revealed yesterday. I was anxious to carry it because of the side being so smushed and you can see just even with carrying it a little bit today, it looks much better than it did when I unboxed it yesterday and I've been very pleased with it. So really a lovely bag. I like it a lot and I think this corner will get even better as I carry it more and have it stuffed more. And I had so much stuff in it today. I had this giant desk agenda and I had my laptop in it along with all my regular purse stuff and it did great, it held up very well. Here's my tea from yesterday. It was frosty something and it was described as nutty, spicy, and fruity. When I smelled the tea in the packet, the first thing I got was spice, like cloves. And then I got fruitcake. And I actually like a good fruitcake. I've had some really bad fruitcake, but I've had some very good fruitcake too. You get spice on the nose here, but it smells watered down. And I did brew this longer than the package said since it's more of an herbal tea. Yeah, I'd say it's more of a nutty taste with a little bit of fruit on the back end, but that's very subtle. It is this nice pink color. Now we're going to take a step back to visit Autumn of Vlogmas Past. Day one of Secret Santa, my person said they love Twix. They had a section for favorite candy and she wrote Twix three times. So I bought this bag and found a pretty tin and put them in here. So that's nice. And that will be delivered to her today by a student. Okay, now I wanna show you the other items I got for the person that I picked for Secret Santa. So I was their Secret Santa. And I'm filming all this at once so I can wrap them, take it to school, I'll have it there. I won't forget to take anything one day. I'm always afraid of that. So you already saw that for day one, I gave her a tin filled with Twix. And she mentioned all these other items too. So this is what I put together for her. Here is day two. She said she loves a cute mug for hot chocolate. I thought this was pretty adorable. Hello, Baron. He just jumped up on my lap. He thinks that it's cookie time again. It is not. But I thought it was so pretty and adorable, and I got it at World Market. They have it in a few different colors. The red, a light blue that's very snow, snowflakey like and a green, and that's all I remember. And then I also got these hot cocoa packets from World Market and these little... Uh, like swizzle sticks. They're peppermint with dark chocolate and they came in a giant container. I think I put three of them in here. I should probably put more. So here is a salted caramel dark chocolate cocoa. Here's a peppermint cocoa. And here somewhere behind Baron's nose is a Mexicoa cocoa. So I thought it'd be nice for her to try a few different flavors. I mean, she's probably had the peppermint before, but maybe not the other two. And I thought those colors looked pretty together. They had lots of other flavors too. Day three's item, she said that she likes vanilla, that that's her favorite scent. So I got this vanilla bean and 
oud oud how do you say that luxury diffuser it's not coming across very well on screen but the package is gold all the way around and then it has this black velvet strip and then a shiny black at the bottom and i'm not going to take it out because it's kind of hard i don't want to damage the packaging but it's a shiny black bottle with black diffuser reeds and it has the scent inside of course that diffuses for day four she said she liked fuzzy socks so i looked around and i found these that i thought were super cute they've got this lodge moose wintry tree print to them i don't know her style well so i thought this gray color would work pretty well i didn't want to get socks that were too light colored where they'd get all dirty when you're walking around in just your socks but they are very cozy and squishy and floofy and they also are infused with aloe vera, which I thought was a nice little touch that I didn't see on a lot of other socks. And if you're interested in these, I picked them up at TJ Maxx. So that's where you can find them. They did have other colors and patterns too. So that's day four. Those were all the smaller gifts. On day five, you're supposed to give the larger gift and that's supposed to be at least $15 according to the rules. There weren't rules for the other four. She mentioned that she loves yellow. That's her favorite color and that she likes to write. So I got her this yellow notebook and it's a, it's not leather, but it kind of feels like leather on the cover and it's lined and it has a ribbon bookmark, which is a nice touch, but that's not all folks. You turn it around and there's all kinds of goodies on the back here. I got her a pack of Stabilo markers cause she said she liked colorful pens. And those are some that I use that are great quality and a really nice line and a good variety of colors. And you remember I showed you some of these sticky notes that I got with positive messages. So I picked out the yellow one to give to her. It says, yay. And I also noticed on her Secret Santa list, she had a few things whited out and it was with that liquid white out and it was sort of messy looking. So I got her one of those correction tape white outs. And of course it is also yellow. Oh, and one of the reasons I got the Stabilo pens too was because they have a yellow barrel or like school bus yellow. So that's it. That's what I got for my secret Santa. And now it's advent calendar time. Somehow Roxy's on the floor and not in my chair with me. I bet that'll change soon. Own it girl. All right, we're on day 20 of the Sugar Fina calendar right there. Birthday cake caramels. Make every day your birthday with these anniversary, these celebratory birthday cake caramels rolled in tiny rainbow sprinkles. That doesn't sound very good to me, but I'll still try one. After all, I did have a birthday this year. Not good. Don't buy these. All right, we're looking for door number 20 on the tea calendar. Oh, there it is. Hot chocolate, rich, fudgy, and indulgent. The last chocolate one that we had, I didn't like, but we'll see about this one. It has that per -er tea again. Nobody told me how to pronounce that. Black tea, cocoa nibs, chocolate chips, chocolate curls, stevia, natural and artificial flavoring, contains milk and soy. All right, I'm not really excited about that one, but I'll try it. Roxy just jumped in my chair. I'll make the sacrifice for you. Hello, Roxy. Do it yourself advent calendar time. This box is number 20. Do any of you watch America's Test Kitchen? They rated this the best champagne sealer of all the champagne sealers. And I have been using a different champagne sealer, so I purchased this so I could tr give it a try. Again, I'm making sacrifices for you guys. I'm gonna have to get a bottle of champagne, open it, drink some of it, just so I can test this for you. The things I do for YouTube. Hey, Roxy. Do you know what time it is? It's dog cookie advent calendar time. She licked her lips. Door number 20 is right there. Hey. 
Hello, Lily. Good girl. Oh, Baron. Good boy. Oh, Roxy. Good girl. Things are looking up on the losing my hands front. <laughs>